Now here's the thing. The covenant, the new covenant, is a contract. It's got, it has a promises. Here are some of the promises. If you agree, you will be protected. You will have peace. You will have the gift of the Holy Spirit. You will have numerous spiritual blessings. You have a gift of portraying the message. You have a gift of tongue. You have a gift of laughter. You have a gift of fellowship. And these gifts just go on and on and on and on. That's his contract. But he says, if you agree to these terms, I have things that I ask of you. I pray that you read my word. Study my word. Follow me. Be an example. Abide. Let me abide in you. These are the terms that God gives for this hedge of protection and happen. Now, it says here in the book of Isaiah 5, 5, Now I will tell you that I am going to do to my vineyard. I will take away its hedge and it will be destroyed. I will break down its wall and it will be trampled. Now that means that if we come into the agreement, sometimes we allow sin into our lives. Whatever the sin may be, once we allow sin in our lives, the enemy can have a crack in our edge. And all attack us if we are not abiding by the legal contract that is called the new covenant. So when we put our guard down, the edge comes down, the enemy comes in and attack. We don't want that to happen, so I'm going to that. I want us to use wisdom flows. It's kind of like a phone line, a communication. Jeremiah 33 says that if you would call your name, call, make a phone call to God in prayer, the line is open to God all the time. And that's what prayer does. Prayer is a communication with the Spirit of God constantly going into our spirit. And of course, like I said before, the enemy doesn't want that to happen. The enemy wants to block all these things.
They're happy, and God knows them. He's aware of them. And that goes. And that change color to I'm making it black and white. And then these are my also my elements. Because God also has little subtle things to the bottom of personality. I think sometimes the more I do this, the more I realize that that God is so infinite. And sometimes I'll try to put God in a small version like a man. But he's more bigger than a man. He's got all these things. And sometimes his paintings are not even, they're not even big enough to really show some of the attributes of what I want to portray. I do not want the deal. I step out of that deal, God. I don't want it. I'm cool. I'm smart. I got it all in control. I'm better. I, I, I have a PhD. I have a master. Like, I don't need that. Whatever it is that people deny the plan of God, they say no to his contract, and God says, fine. Then these things happen. Once you say yes to God, this thing comes up. The head of protection. This thing starts happening. You're communicating with God. The Holy Spirit starts flowing with you. You start moving. These things, the attacks are starting to push out. No longer attacking you. And before you know it, you're being used by God. So if uh, okay, it does an awesome power. You accept you, you accept God. It's very easy, it's, it's as simple as a prayer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bow our heads and we'll make a prayer. And if you do not, if you have not said yes to this contract, but you want to say it, it's very easy. Because this contract is not a paper contract where you physically sign, it's a spiritual contract in your heart. So I'm gonna bow on my head and I'm gonna read this. this contract and if you believe it, if you accept it and you sign yes, that's going to be good for you because now you will also be in his presence. So I'm going to bow down. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray you. take a moment, finish it, and you bring it back and exhibit it here once it's done. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much for your inspirational message. Hermanos, aquí tenemos la vida de la Alguien 